If you have a Windows computer at home and haven't upgraded to Windows 11 yet, and it appears a majority of users have not, you have a decision to make before October 2025, next year as I record this. Windows 10 will reach end of life, just like Windows 7 and Windows XP before it. Windows will not stop working on a certain date, but it will stop getting security updates from Microsoft. This means it will quite quickly become a liability when used online, which is how most of us use computers these days anyway. Eventually, it will become effectively unsupported by hardware and software makers too, like the previous Windows versions already mentioned. So, you have several options, some of which mean spending money. First, just keep using Windows 10 and don't worry about it. Eventually, your current computer will give up the ghost and you'll get a new one with the current version of Windows at the time. As someone who works in IT, I mean, I wouldn't recommend that, but there are some options which I'll discuss a little later. Second, you can still upgrade to Windows 11 if your hardware is compatible with Microsoft's somewhat arbitrary specifications. It's a fairly painless process and most hardware and software that work on Windows 10 should work with a Windows 11. Third, you could purchase a new Windows PC before 2025, or indeed an Apple product if you're a wee bit more adventurous. Either choice may mean a significant outlay, but you get a more modern PC with a current operating system that should last, you know, five or six years. Remember, Windows 10 will actually be 10 years old in 2025. Last, and this is not last because I think it's a poor option, but because I know most everyday computer users would not consider it or even be aware of it. This would be to use your existing computer hardware, but to remove Windows and use some version of Linux. This would allow you to have a current operating system with all the updates still available for it. Now, the wrinkle I mentioned earlier is that if you decide to just keep Windows 10 as long as possible, there are a couple of options that would allow you to do so and still remain secure with continuing updates. One is Microsoft's own ESU plan, Extended Security Updates. This is a paid option to extend security updates for up to three years after the stated end of life period, so to 2028 in this case. I believe the enterprise version of ESU costs $400 per seat per year. The costs for consumer versions have not been disclosed yet, but I'm guessing something like $50 to $100 a year, but I, I don't know. Uh, I do have links in the description for this and for the next option I'm going to discuss too. Another option along the same lines is offered by an established third-party party company, Zero Patch, which has now been proposed for Windows 10 at $25 per year for up to five years after the official end-of-life period. Zero Patch does already offer security update support for Windows 7 and Server 2008. So, there you have it. At least you have some options as far as keeping Windows 10, if you don't want to go to 11, when the inevitable cutoff date comes around. Hey, thanks for watching, and see you next time.